If you're training to become a lawyer, you need to know how to answer this one mark question on how to argue in it. Arguments. Find the minimum and maximum value of arg z given modulus z minus 5 minus 5i is equal to 2. All right. With all these questions, we should always be focusing on a diagram. Okay. So this, if we just rewrite it first, I mean, we should always be able to spot this as being a circle. That's just elementary stuff. We're saying modulus z. Now we should be factorizing out a minus because I'll explain what that minus even means. When we take out that minus, this says the distance, it's the distance of z, your point z, from this coordinate, 5, 5, yes, 5 on the real axis, 5 on the imaginary axis, is 2. That's how I want you guys to be reading this statement, okay? So, the distance of all points from this point is fixed at 2. This is going to be a circle, okay, with center 5, 5. So, if we were to draw a diagram, we'd actually only take the positive side. We have 5, 5. And we have some circle. Okay. Now, what does it mean to find the minimum and maximum value of arg z? Now, what that means is we need this from, yeah, from. It's the arg of z minus zero, technically, okay? So it's the angle that the point z makes if you draw a line to the origin. So z from the origin. The origin is here. Okay. Now z can be anywhere on this circle. All right. So it could be here. It could be here. 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 I'll just do a few points just to make a point. Okay. It could be anywhere on this circumference. If I take my pen and I point it from O to some point on the circle, I'm going to point it to somewhere on the circle, where would the angle to the x-axis, because that's what argument means, where would it be smallest and largest? So here's like neutral. Well, here it would be getting smaller. Yeah, look at where it's pointing. Yeah, so it would be getting smaller. It's going to be somewhere over here. Okay, where would it be largest is if we move it all the way up to here. It's all to do with tangents. Okay, so we're going to draw some tangents. Okay, so it's going to be this z point, that'll be z min, and this point, which will be z max. Okay, big up max in that. Now it should be reasonably simple to find these angles. Okay, it's all about the center. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line to the center and then to these points, because that's going to be 90 degrees, and this is going to be 90 degrees. Yeah, we formed two congruent triangles, okay? Now, the minimum arg is going to be this angle. Let's call it alpha, okay? Remember, when I did this thing, that is the smallest angle to the x-axis. The maximum is going to be this whole thing here, all right? Now, that maximum is just alpha plus these two angles, which are the exact same. I'll call it theta, and I'll now call this big angle beta. Okay? So, really, let's focus on finding alpha. Now, to find alpha, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this angle, yeah, from the middle of this to the center, that angle minus wherever theta is, okay? So I'm going to do this minus theta. Now you might actually be able to spot what this angle is because this is 5, 5. If I was to draw a line straight down, it's quite a lot of construction here. You have this length being 5 and this height being 5, isn't it? Okay, well what type of triangle is that? It's an isosceles triangle. Isosceles 
meaning that this angle must be 45 degrees, which in radians is pi over 4. Okay, so this angle here is pi over 4, uh, which I don't really want to mess up the diagram too much. Well, I feel like I've already passed that. So that's pi over 4. And then I just need to minus theta. So the key part to this question is what is theta? Well, theta exists within this right angle triangle. Do we know some lengths? We do. We know the radius is 2, which is this. And we can find this distance because that's the center, right? The distance between that point and the origin is just 5 squared plus 5 squared rooted, which is 5 root 2, okay? Which I can show you. 5 squared, 5 squared rooted. That is 2 lots of 5, uh, five squared, which is root 5, 5, and then root the 2. So that's 5 root 2. Now, a lot of the time in further maths, they like you guys to keep it as an exact value. So this is the opposite, and this is the hypotenuse. So it's going to be the inverse sine, arc sine, of the opposite, which is 2, divided by the hypotenuse, 5 root 2. Um, which, do I even want to simplify that? No, nah, they don't really care. But anyway, that's the game. So the minimum, we're basically done now. If they wanted you to round it, you guys do that, innit? So we're going to do alpha, I called it alpha, is my pi over 4 minus theta. So it'll be pi over 4 minus arc sine sine 2 over 5 root 2. Okay, then the max arg, beta is my pi over 4 plus theta. And that is our beautiful solution. And it all stem from our understanding of what does this statement even mean. So guys, that is it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more further lawyer questions like this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Nice.